O come, let us worship God and bow low before the God who made us, for he is the Lord our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, I welcome all of you to our Mass on this fifth Sunday of Ordinary Time. We ask God to continue to bless us during this pandemic, to continue to bless you and your families. And today's theme of our Mass is all about healing. Let us begin our celebration by calling on the Lord, mindful of our sins, praying, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job spoke to his friends. Does not the human being have a hard service on earth? And are not their days like the days of a laborer? Like a slave who longs for the shadow, and like the laborer who works for their wages. So I am allotted months of emptiness, and nights of misery are apportioned to me. When I lie down, I say, when shall I rise? But the night is long, and I'm full of tossing until dawn. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle, and come to their end without hope. Remember that my life is a breath, my eye will never see good again. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the song, sing praises to the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. Sing, sing praises, praises to, to the Lord, Lord who heals, heals the, the brokenhearted. Broken How good it is to sing praises to our God, for he is gracious and a song of praise is fitting. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the outcasts of Israel. Sing, Sing praises, praises to, to the Lord, Lord who heals the brokenhearted. The Lord heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars. He gives to all of them their names. Sing, Sing praises, praises to the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. Great is our Lord and abundant in power. 
His understanding is beyond measure. The Lord lifts up the downtrodden. He casts the wicked to the ground. Sing, Sing praises, praises to, to the Lord, Lord who heals the brokenhearted. Broken hearted. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I proclaim the gospel, this gives me no ground for boasting, for an obligation is laid on me, and woe to me if I do not proclaim the gospel. For if I do this of my own will, I have a reward. But if not of my own will, I am entrusted with a commission. What then is my reward? Just this, that in my proclamation I may make the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my rights in the gospel. For though I am free with respect to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so that I might win more of them. To the weak I became weak, so that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, that I might by all means save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, so that I may share in its blessings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. As soon as Jesus and his disciples left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever. And they told Jesus about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sunset, they brought to Jesus all who were sick or possessed with demons. And the whole city was gathered around the door. And he cured many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons. And he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, Jesus got up and went out to a deserted place. And there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him and when they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. He answered, Let us go on to the neighboring town, so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. And Jesus went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues, and casting out demons. The Gospel of of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Kudos to the many parishioners who put together last night's Family of Parishes talent show. I have to be honest with all of you, I simply sat back and I saw four full screens of intentional disciples, four full screens of parishioners who registered for this event, and to be really honest with you, I was in awe at the people and the talent, especially our youth who performed and shared with us their gifts, their talents, and their skills. How blessed we are as a family of parishes. We know that Zoom would only allow up to 200 participants, so I know many could not witness this event, but stay tuned by reading our online bulletin to when the next one will take place. 
which we don't really know as of today. So congratulations, and I just sat there again so proud. As your pastor and your friend, also on behalf of the family of parishes, I certainly want to express my deepest sympathies once again now to 10 of our families within our family of parishes that are dealing with a lot, the death of a, of a loved one. So please allow me just to take a moment to let all of you know that I'm with you, I'm walking with you. Uh, we are with you as your church, asking God to heal your broken hearts at this time. To Maria and Gisela Mazzarini, I express my deepest sympathy to you on the passing of your, your beautiful and your dear brother Umberto. Infanti. To Dolores McDougall on the passing of her brother George Robillard, and to the Tredicchio family on the passing of Augustino Tredicchio, and to the Gatchnick family on the passing of Frank Gasnick, and to the Morkin family on the passing of Helen Morkin, and to the Camillo family on the passing of Alicia. Gavilla, to the Chenard family on the passing of Brenda Chenard, and to the Fantine family on the passing of Mary Divine. All these funerals and their celebrations are going to be taking place this coming week, and so may God grant them eternal rest and peace. And may God give you all the courage, the courage, the peace that we need to keep on moving on until one day, God willing, that we follow them. And now, my brothers and sisters, with this, let's turn to our scriptures on this wonderful weekend of the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time. I just want everyone to get football off their mind for just a few moments and let's focus on Jesus. Like Joe in the first reading, I believe that we all come upon times of chaos. We all come upon times of stress and there are so many aspects to life which are, there are no solutions. People have lost a loved one. Who has the solution to make the pain go away? Some members of our parish have chronically ill children. Some children have died. Parents are exhausted as their hearts are being torn to pieces. Chronic sickness, chronic pain become the focus of a person's mind. And like Job in today's readings, we all experience what he called months of misery and nights of terror. Perhaps some of you do not suffer like others to the extent that Job suffered. But we know that life brings us many, many challenges, including challenging and challenges to our faith. But God will get us through this crisis. I believe, I believe that the Lord is aware of all of our difficulties. I really do believe that he sees our turmoils. And I truly do believe that Jesus wants to heal us just as he healed all those people in today's gospel. I believe in the power 
of healing. Healing of pain. Healing of suffering. Healing of demons. Healing of mental sickness. Healing of the poor. Healing of poverty. Healing of the many men and women, <coughs> excuse me, who are sick right now. Healing of racism. Healing of discrimination. Healing of forgiveness. Separation. Divorce. The healing of a nation. The healing of the universe. And with today's Eucharist, <coughs> excuse me, with today's Eucharist, I ask Jesus in today's Eucharist to heal the world, to heal the nation, and to heal every family, and to heal you, and to heal me, because God knows that we're all in need of healing. I always love seeing when I go and see my doctor, when I have to sit in the waiting room, like all of us have to sit in the waiting room, and she's got this beautiful, beautiful sign. And I just adore this sign. I even took a picture of it without her permission. But anyways, um, the doctor said, the, 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 the sign says, the doctor is in, let the healing begin. The doctor is in, let the healing begin. And today, what comes to my mind with all the healing that needs to take place, the power of healing, I just want you to know that Jesus, like the doctor, Jesus is in. Let the healing begin. I ask you to let Jesus into your hearts. Let Jesus into your minds. And let the healing begin. Today, all of us are told that when we are suffering in any manner whatsoever, we must trust in the presence of God through his son, Jesus Christ, and the working of the Holy Spirit, and the working of our blessed mother, Mary. We believe that they are with us through all this turmoil. We believe that they cry out with us, sharing our pain and our suffering. God, gives us the gift of the church to guide us from the chaos of life into the calm and peace of life. And so as you come, all of our viewers, to this Eucharist, the Lord is in. Jesus is in. Let him in. And let the healing begin. Holy Spirit upon all of our families especially our own of most precious blood and our Lady of Guadalupe, St. Cyril and Methodius, St. Teresa's and San Juan Diego let your healing begin where you see it most needed as we together as a church profess our faith I believe in God, the Father Almighty, 
creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us now place before God the special intentions that we offer for this Holy Mass. That women and men engaging in the church's mission activity be strengthened in their very difficult labors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our parish families that we may joyfully and generously serve Christ in each other. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the elderly struggling with the effects of COVID-19 Come to experience God's healing power. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our frontline essential workers everywhere, in thanksgiving for their dedication, their service, and commitment to all our brothers and sisters in Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the spirit of healing will now radiate in our hearts and in our minds with whatever healing needs to take place. Let the healing begin, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our beloved who have died, we now pray for the repose of the souls of Umberto, Infanti, Agostino Tredico, George Robillard, Frank Gasnick, Helen Morgan, Alicia Gamilla, Brenda Chenard, and Mary Devine. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace, amen, and may their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace, amen. The doctor is in, let the healing begin. Jesus, like the doctor, we know that you are with us every step of the way. Come into our homes, our hearts, our minds, our bodies, and let your power reign with that beautiful gift of healing in every way. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the pouring of this wine and the mingling of this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ on the Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, 
Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash away my cleanse. Pray, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of healing, the sacrament of eternal life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Ronald Peter Fabro, our Bishop, Joseph, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Father, remember all of our loved ones especially those announced in today's Mass, whom you've called from this world to yourself.
Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Jesus, our doctor, our teacher, taught us to pray. And so at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. And graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always free, be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And may the spirit of healing, the spirit of love, the spirit of Jesus come to all of you this holy day, once again, into your homes and into your hearts. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of this world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let them thank the Lord for his mercy, his wonders for the children of men and women, for he satisfies the thirsty soul, and the hungry he fills with good things. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in one bread and one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live, that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. Stay warm. Stay safe. God bless you all. We love you. Thank you for joining us. And have a pleasant evening.